this is what it looks like it's a purpley pink finish for you know that special night for that special someone you know <laughs> anyway so um i just want to give you a little quick tutorial it's nothing fancy it's really simple i use three um three pigments and one eyeshadow palette so i hope you guys enjoy this tutorial is supposed to be very short <laughs> and um if you do and you try to leave a pick in the comments down below or you can go to my facebook page and leave a picture there so i can share with you all and i can see what you did so um stay tuned for this tutorial all right so first off i already did my eyebrows and primed and i applied a white base so that my pinks and purples would pop a whole lot more and I just blended them in a little bit trying to be too rough on the eye area there so the first um, color we're gonna go in with is a pigment from Helena Rustique and the pigment is called Helena this is what it looks like, this is the color it's like a dusty rose kind of pink so I'm just going to apply just a little because we all know how pigments can be if We all know we pack them in. Pack it, just keep packing it. Pack, 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 pack it in to get the most vibrant finish possible. So, and that's what I'm doing there. So the next color we're going to do, which is also a pigment from Helena Rustique, with the be Cranberry Ice, which is a ready pink color. Uh, I kind of like this color on its own too. It's a really pretty color. So I'm just going to take a little tip of this on my brush, just a little, not too much. See? And I'm going to apply it right here in the same pattern motion away from the side of the eye and just keep pattern, 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 pat away. Okay, get it really good and in to the eye there. Alright. That should be good. Alright, yeah. So you see the two colors kind of blend together. It's very close but they blend nonetheless. Alright, the third color that we're gonna go in is it's also from Helena Rustic and this is the Helena Rustic Lollipop. It's a really cool purple. Yeah, it does come to think of it, it does remind me of a purple lollipop. So, I get a... Oh, oh my gosh, you all of you think it happened with a pigment here. So I get a little bit of this purple pigment here. And I apply it to the outer... I'm not tugging at my eyes much, I'm doing a lot of pattern. A lot, a lot of pattern. And I take this color and kind of blend it to the tip with all the pinks. Because as much as I want my colors to show, I still don't want it to be too loud and bold. Yeah, so there, we got that there. Oh my gosh. Alright, so I go back in with my cranberry eyes on what's left on my brush and I just kinda like this dab it there. There you go. Alright. The next thing I go in with is actually I go in with this is my go-to everyday palette. This is almond pool from Sasha. I hit pan there. I'm gonna use this color as my transition color and also to blend the purple and the pinks in the crease area. So I just go in with a little bit there, not too much because we don't want to you know, mess it up or muck it up and make it look scary. And yeah, you all, this is not any defined way, this is just a way that I do it and I like it. So I put it in this area here and I blend it. Blend it down 
down just a little. I like this transition color on my skin. There we go. Alright, from there I go on with another brush and I go to my highlight. And I use this one as my highlight color. This actually is one of my favorites. This is the favorite. It does not matter usually what color I shot I'm wearing. This is my eyebrow highlight. I don't know what I'm doing then. I have a Bionics palette. Let's for this color because it doesn't, they don't sell this color on its own or single. I love it though. It looks good all over the lid also. On those lazy days, I just, I just put it all over my lid. Alright. This is a quick little eye, alright, I like how I was looking, I go back in with my brown and I just blend it, blend it with the highlight, blend it with the colors, and then what I do at this point, I go back in with my purple and just deepen it up just a bit, because you sometimes see when you blend any pigment, it blends away. And you still want some of that color to stay with you. So at this point, I go with my cranberry eyeshadow a little bit more and I just reapply right here. I'm very gently. You know, I am like barely touching my eyes. And then I take the Helena and I blend it in. brush that had just a little purple on it and I bring it underneath my waterline just a little and then I'll take that cranberry and bring it in with the Helena Helena underneath my eyelid here yeah so from there I go ahead and I proceed to line my eyes you all, I make the funny faces when I'm lining my eyes. So, um, I think, yes, I have to do this off camera. Okay, so eyeliner is done. And at this point, I go in with two mascaras. I've been actually enjoying this Cheapy Jordana mascara here. And my Rimmel London Scandalized Show Up mascara. So I go in with these two and I usually use the Jordana for this. I like how thick it is and the bristles really fan out my eyelashes well. This is like I think $12 in Pennywise. If it's not $12, it's $10. It's not much. Let's see there. I don't know much. I mean at this point you if you like um falsies, you can go right ahead and apply your falsies. From there, um, as you can see, I got a little bit of um, eyeshadow on my lid there. I don't bother to wipe it off. I just take my transition brush and blend it in. It becomes part of the eye look. That's just how I work it. So I take a clean wipe at this point and I go in and I just clean up under my eye. Not wiping off all the eyeshadow underneath because I feel like a little bit of eyeshadow underneath for this look. I need to put up in some eyeshadow and makeup remover. And yeah, oh, I got all over my nose there. So, yeah, that's basically the eye finished. So, um, what am I gonna do at this point? Actually, I take just a little bit of foundation. I'm using my black opal stick foundation. 
I have already done my face. I'm just gonna take a little bit and just clean up under my eye because I think the white is not my concealer and stuff. go into the lips. Alright, so for the lips I'm just using two colors. I'm using the Jordana Natural. You can get a simple anyway. It's $6.95 and I'm using the MAC Dazzle Glass in Dark Orange. So, I because your eyes are like, you know, standing out this much, I'm only going to use just a little shadow and a little bit of a nude my lipstick. It's been through war and a couple times being left in the car I <laughs> So I apply that and then I just go in with a little bit of the lip gloss and I use my fingers to blend this one. I don't really like to use the um, applicator. gonna put a little powder on and I'll be back to show you all the finished look. really quick to do. I'll take no time at all. And yeah, let your hair down. Go to dinner with that special one. <laughs>